nice to meet uh, of meet you all. So it's nice to meet uh, all of you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Neha. Thank you, uh, Adogim. So, uh, so I'm. Uh, it's going to be a short session. So, as uh, Dr. Neha said, I've got 15 minutes to talk about MoMA, and it'll be and take 10 minutes of your questions. So I'll try to keep it short, and I'll give you a brief introduction. Then we can discuss about a few marmas that would be beneficial in fibromyalgia. And then I can take, uh, I, I'll try to answer a few questions if you've got anything. So uh, marma therapy is, it's not something we've heard, like most people know, even uh, people who practice Ayurveda. So you are not inter introduced to marma therapy a lot because it's a it's a, it's it has its origins in South Asia, South India, to be precise, in Kerala. So uh, it is said that Marma or Marma's therapy was practiced in uh, with the Kalari tradition in Kerala. So uh, why uh, it hasn't be, uh, become famous? Like uh, it's uh, we've got acupuncture, which is quite similar to Marma. Why uh, Marma therapy hasn't been famous in the other parts of the country or around the world is uh, why uh, I find it's uh, I assume because uh, people thought Marma as something uh, divine, so it was more of an elite practice. So even if you were an expert in Marma, you don't. Uh, they didn't. Most of them they didn't share it to anyone because it, Marma therapy can be. Uh, if you practice it on your own without expertise. So they believe that uh, Marma was an elite thing among a few people. So like uh, Ayurveda, other, other treatment processes in Ayurveda, they didn't share it with anyone. Or, so that's how it, uh, uh, its popularity is, uh, even though it's, uh, it's a wonderful, uh, it's an effective, uh, quick uh, and cost effective treatment, it was, it's uh, still, hasn't reached its full uh, uh, popularity, I would say. So that's a. Uh, so when you talk about mama, uh, uh, what is mama therapy? It's mama, uh, mama or mamas are anatomical structures in your body. Uh, it's quite similar to acupuncture points. Uh, you must have heard of acupuncture uh, points in your body. The, the, these points are quite similar, uh, but not the same, of course. Uh, it's uh, but both the sciences believe that these points are uh, energy points, you know, where energy, matter, and uh, like in short, it's a point, a point of life. So these are uh, uh, where mind and consciousness meet, we can say, so energy points. So any damage to these points uh, could result in serious complications to your body. So for example, uh, so the easiest marma to spot in your body is your head. So head is one among the main three marmas explained in Ayurveda. Your heart, your navel uh, is a marma. So any damage to these uh, parts. So that's one reason we wear helmet when we ride a bike. So any damage to your head it could even lead to your death. So so the actual uh, definition of marma is that any part that could be there could be dangerous, like, like any hit, uh, any injury, or any illness to that part could be dangerous, could be fatal. So that's the actual definition of marma. But what we are discussing is entirely different. So we'll be discussing about marma points. So where the uh, simple uh, but effective. Uh, procedures could lead to um, really good results, surprising results. And we, trust me, you'll all be surprised of the results, of the long-term results when you, uh, when you use marma therapies, when you use the techniques for, for a longer period of time. So from my experience, people who started using marma therapy, they found it difficult at the beginning, like because uh, we use therapies on certain parts of the body, like if you use it on your knee or your elbow. So these are sites, if you have a, a condition of pain or let's say fibromyalgia. 
So if you use it on one of these parts, these parts are sites of AMA, which, which are toxins, we like explained in Ayurveda. So when you eat a food that is that is uh, like that is like uh, again like that doesn't suit your lifestyle or that doesn't suit your acne so it becomes a toxin and it spreads to all parts of the body and it could it could potentially block uh, the free flowing vata dosha like the air so uh, uh, the ama do, ama we talk about or toxins could accumulate in one of these body parts and block the free flow of um, energy or water. So if we apply pressure to these points, so it, um, it could have a, an uncomfortable impact in the, in the beginning. So I'm not saying that you should practice that. So any, uh, so what the purpose of mama therapy is to improve your condition, to, to have long-term effects, long-term impacts on your body, positive impacts on the body. So, uh, uh, talking about fibromyalgia, uh, so uh, when we talk about fibromyalgia in modern science, so we, so its cause is, its cause uh, is unknown most of the time. So uh, when we say we have, you have fibromyalgia, so the cause cannot be your if you go to your GP and your GP says you have fibromyalgia, so most of the time nine or out of ten they we struggle to find the cause of the condition. So we say we have pain all over the body. It could be fibromyalgia. It could be uh, it could be anything. It could be a osteoarthritis. Could be rheumatoid arthritis. Could be anything. So if it's an unidentified condition, we classify it as fibromyalgia. So uh, what connects fibromyalgia in modern science and the concept of mama is. When, when, you, when your doctor diagnoses you for fibromyalgia, I hope you, you all can hear me. Is it okay? Yes, yes, Dr. Bijib. Yes. So uh, when, you, when your GP diagnoses you for fibromyalgia, so they have 18 points, uh, 18 vital points uh, to diagnose fibromyalgia. So it could be anywhere, like it could be your... Uh, they say it's at 18 tender points. So it could be your elbow, it could be your neck, uh, it could be your knee joint. So you can, it could be anywhere. So there are 18 points in uh, they check. So if you press one of these uh, 18 points, yeah, uh, these points could be it could be closer to your joints. So if you press any of these points, if you feel pain, and if you feel pain in more than three or four uh points they diagnose you they, they, they diagnose that you have fibromyalgia and it's not necessarily true uh, necessarily fibromyalgia so it could be any condition as well so so that that's how uh, so these 18 points so when you compare it to the marma therapy so these are quite similar so uh, like the knee uh, knee joint so it is one of the tender points in fibromyalgia. So when you compare it to marma therapy, we have the Janu marma. So uh, so we have quite uh, quite a few similarities when you compare both. So that's why it's important that we we practice. So someone asked me like, what are the eighteen points? So maybe I'll explain it after the after the uh, session. Is that alright? Yes, yes. Yeah, so th these 18 points, and it's not, uh, uh, it's not uh, Ayurveda, you can, it's fibromyalgia, if you, uh, I can uh, type in one of these uh, chats, so it's not, it's not uh, anything important, you cannot find on the internet, it's, these are, what do you call, so if you, uh, so I'll, maybe I'll, after the session, I'll type it on the chat, so, uh, so we, we where was I? Yeah, when you compare fibromyalgia and marma therapy, these two have quite a lot of similarities. And so that's why it's important to, if you stimulate one of these points, so it could have a really good impact on your body. 
really good uh, long term impacts on your body, positive impacts on your body. And uh, and when you uh, when we look at marma, uh, we have 107 marmas in our body, uh, as explained by Ajari Susurda. Of course, he's the uh, father of surgery, is known as. And these 107 marmas in our body. So when we explain marmas, this we say 107 plus one. So it's just 108 in total. So the 108 marma is your mind. So, so when we say 107, so 107 is your the marmas in your body plus number plus one is uh, your mind. So like, yes, yes, of course. I will. So, uh, so that's how uh, both these uh, 18 uh, tender points and marma are similar. So I'll. Uh, what I will do is I'll try to show you a few mama points that will be beneficial that are easy to do, uh, risk-free uh, points uh, that you can do to your, you can do yourself because you. Ultimately, you are the, you are the you, so it's better that you do that to yourself. Uh, you do it yourself. You don't don't ask your partner or your family member to do that it's better you do it yourself so you can uh, control the pressure you apply so it's easier it's risk free there's no, nothing to worry it's, uh, and it will give you a surprising impact surprising results once, once you complete it so i have a personal experience so i, I have recommended a few of my old patients voice voice is cutting is, is that is it okay now So, yeah, all right, thank okay. you. It's okay, carry on. Yeah, so must be, uh, so your internet, I don't know. <laughs> okay, then, uh, so I'll explain a few of the murmurs. So a few murmurs that are important uh, to fibromyalgia and if, like one or two that could improve your mental health if you have, that could reduce uh, stress. So uh, like, like I said, stress could also be a factor in fibromyalgia. So like most of the pe people, uh, when you look at the causes, the, we don't have a definite cause, but some of the causes could be an injury uh, to a vital organ, vital part of the body or stress. So that's what research says about fibromyalgia. So these two are the factors uh, that could cause fibromyalgia. So when we look at that, so we'll try uh, a few. Uh, marma therapies, simple your mental health and uh, of course, via you, your pain. And uh, like this is the uh, best time to do uh, marma therapies because it's, what is it? It's four degrees in Norwich. I don't know, voice keeps cutting off. Can you hear me now? Is it okay? Yes, yeah. So it, uh, yeah, it's four degrees now, so it's the best time to do a few mama therapies, keep you warm. It's because uh, at this time of the year is when your pain could aggravate, the vata dosha could aggravate. Uh, can you hear me, but cutting out sometimes, yeah. Carry cutting out is happening, you carry on. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can't do anything. Yeah, you can't do it. There is no marma point. I, I, do, I, I don't know if it's my internet or or US. I don't know. Whoever it is, we can't do. fix it. Carry on. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm happy that you can hear me. So. Uh, so what I was saying was it's four degrees in Norwich where I live. So I'm sure it's uh, pretty much the same almost everywhere in the UK. So it's the best best time to do a few um, marma therapies to keep your body warm. Maybe have a nice spicy vegetable soup if you want. So it's uh, it's that time of the year, the the year when pain aggravates. The the time of the year when pain aggravates. It's winter, so it's uh, important that you use uh, essential oils. So I would recommend you use the uh, ginger oil when you do some of the, the marma techniques. Uh, so. Uh, 
So uh, I said I said about Mal there are 107 points. So. Uh, some of them are muscles, some of them are almost 35 in your head and uh, 22 uh, in your lower extremities. So there are 107 in total, plus, of course, your mind. So uh, this is uh, marma called Talahudaya marma. Are these marma points helpful for other issues? Yeah, so these are uh, what your condition based marma points. So, so if you do a uh, if I say Talahudaya is beneficial for uh, fibromyalgia, you can do it in other conditions as well, of course. So it's, it's risk free. You can, uh, you can, uh, it's, it's up to you, you know. You are your own doctor. So it's, it's risk free. Yeah, you can do it uh, anytime. Uh, so no, no worries about that. So the first one is uh, uh, the Talahudaya Marma. I hope you can see, see my hand. So so if you uh, fold your middle finger and so it reaches the middle of the uh, so let me bring it closer yeah so this is the talahudaya uh, point in your hand so uh, what you can, what you can do is so yeah this is the point i know it's much better uh, so what you can do is uh, so when, when we, we use measurements in Marma, we use uh, your we, our fingers. So when I say one finger, uh, so it, it, we call it angulas. So one angular is the measurement of one finger. So if I say two angulas, it's two fingers. So we, we always use uh, fingers for measurement. So this is uh, the Talahudaya point. Uh, what you can do is, uh, yes, yes, I'll do it. I'll write the name. Do we have a chat option? Yeah. So I'll write the name first. Yeah, that's the first one. That's the Palahudaya point. So what you can do is uh, you you can you can either use uh, an essential oil or gingerly oil. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we can either use uh, any oil, you can use any oil, you can, or it's up to you. You can, or you can just warm your hands first. Uh, then it's nice to do that in, in this weather, right? So you, First, well, what you can do is you can apply a pressure to your face, give you give it a nice massage all over the face. So it's important that we start this way so that our face uh, and the upper part of the body gets enough circulation. So we do that, we give our hair a massage. You can use your fingers or your entire hand, it's up to you. So we, we, we keep our hands warm, we give a massage. Then we come back to the Talahudaya part. So what we can do is you can use oil, warm oil, or you can put in this thing in this finger and give, give it a circular seconds. So that, that's all it needs. So you can do it regularly. Uh, and uh, it is really beneficial um, in, in pains that uh, that has uh, source it to the joints. And so uh, that's one of I hope everyone's um, understood that step. Okay. Yeah. So this uh, this is so what's, um, what's this point for? Yeah, this is uh, for uh, if you have fibromyalgia or if you have joint pains. So uh, if if you have pain associated with uh, yeah, within the joints, like your radius or ulna, or your shoulder, any part of the body. So it's what we do, uh, do is we are improving circulation in all these parts by doing this. So by improving circulation, uh, we get rid of this uh, stuck vada doshas. 
and we improve. Yes. Um, is it just right hand or both hands? Yes. Sorry, you're cutting out. Yeah, yeah, both hands, both hands, of course. Yeah, yeah. both hands, yeah. So, yeah, so we are moving on to the next one. It, it's Indra Basti. Yeah, type it. This is uh, the Indra Basti Malma. It's, it, uh, it's difficult to show on the screen. It's your it's, it's your calf joint, so uh, we do it uh, for a, all the pain associated with your calf, calf muscle. And what you can do is you can measure your calf, like the entire leg, and you, the middle part of your leg is the intrabasti marma. Okay. So the intrabus marma, what you can do is you can do the same thing. You can warm your hands first, then use your three fingers. You can either use warm oil or warm hands. Yeah, use your three fingers. And again, uh, apply circular pressure on the intrabus marma. So what, what we were doing is we, 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 we again um, giving a uh, pressure to those points, improving circulation so that we can reduce the pain in those side. And also get rid of the armor dosha in this side. And, and moving on to the next one is uh, Shivavardhara Marma, which is basically the back of your neck. So don't get uh, like confused by the names. These are simple marmas, you know, it's just Sanskrit names. And uh, Shivavardhara Marma is the back of your neck. And once again, you uh, this uh, this is really beneficial for, for people who have neck pain or any sort of spondylitis or spondylosis, any sort of condition. This is really beneficial uh, for for any pain associated with the neck. So what you can do is you can uh, use both both your hands. You can warm up, warm your hand again. So yeah. Give, give I'll answer those voice. questions at the you. end. Yeah. So you just you you warm your you hands. Can you show exactly where the point in the neck? Can you show us behind where the point in the neck is? Or, or any charts you can show? You know, when you say the neck, which area is the point? Which area of the neck is the point? Is the base of the yeah, neck so or it's, the base it's, of, of the head? Yeah, it's the, it's the back of the neck, the entire part of the neck, entire back of the neck. So. So it's more than one point. It's more than one point. It's not a localized point. You can apply. You do the same. You can apply. So I can't, I can't hear you. Sorry. I said, is it? I always thought mama point is very specific. Just one point on part of the body. It feels like it's the entire neck. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I could hear hear what she said. You can't hear. Oh, she is so she will, saying what what part of the neck you press? Is it the whole? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming to that. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, so this is a. Uh, so you warm up your hands, and give it a nice rub, uh, or you can use oil, oil in your hands. Uh, then uh, you can use both hands, three fingers, uh, apply pressure to the entire part of the neck in a circular motion. It's up to you. You can use both hands or just one hand. It's totally up to you. So that is uh, Shiva Shivarantara Marma. Just circular motion on your neck. It's, it's really simple. So, uh, and then the next one is you, you, again back to our hands. It's the Shipra Marma. So the Shipra Marma is this in your fingers. If you press it press it like this you can feel it so that's the shipra marma and again what you can do is instead of uh, giving a massage make sure your hand is warm if you can uh, apply pressure to this point for 30 seconds you don't need to do any, do any you don't need to press it hard you know just make sure you give it giving it a safe pressure so it's your own body so you you will know what's the safe pressure make sure you don't press it really hard so you can give pressure to this point for
for 30 seconds. And you can do it at least one time a day. Are you pressing your three fingers or your thumb? Three fingers on one side and the thumb on the other. So you're pressing the three yes. fingers inside and the thumb as yeah, well. Yeah, this, this part. You know. squeeze, squeezing it in between the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Thumb right. and three fingers. Yeah. So how much so pressure three... do you apply? Till it pains? No, 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 like slight pressure. Slight, okay. Yeah, so it's important that you don't press hard, you know, you know any of those marmor points. Like it would be, yeah, it could be one of the, uh, it could have an impact on the nerves or so, blood vessels. So it's important that you keep slight pressure. So you know how it is. So see, I'm giving like slight pressure to these points. Just make sure you're pressing it, but not too hard, not too soft. Yeah, so hold that uh, position for 30 seconds. Um, sorry, what is this point called? Uh, it's called Shipra, Mama, Shipra. Shipra. Yeah, yeah, I'll type it. Yeah, I'll type it in the chat. So the, the next one is uh, uh, Kurupura Marma. So I hope you're clear with Shipra. You just saw us, what is for? What is Sorry? this for? What is this for, Suprama? What, what is the benefit of this? Okay, okay, yeah. So, like I said, it's uh, all all the marmas we do, all the marma points we do, they improve our circulation in that particular point. Reduce the pain. And uh, it helps to remove toxins stuck in that part. And by doing that, we uh, it helps if you have a, a painful joint, painful wrist joint or a painful elbow joints. So this helps in relieving those conditions. Okay. So when you do uh, a marma on a particular point, so it helps all these surrounding points. If you do it here, so it helps uh, the entire right hand. So you can do the, this uh, Shipra Marma on both your hands, like I well, said earlier. I yeah, so the next next one is uh, Kurpura Marma. So the Kurpura Marma is close to your elbow joint. So what you can do is you can hold your elbow joint like this. So that, that area is your Kurpura Marma. Yes, yeah, so like I said earlier, you can apply pressure to this point. Yeah, so exactly, exactly your, around your elbow joint, it's a Kurpura Marma. So you apply pressure to that point like I said, 30 seconds, uh, not so, too hard, not too soft. <coughs> it's your judgment, you know, like. You're leaving your thumb pressed or are you pressing on and off? What's soft? Yes, Is so it on and off? We are just keeping it No, pressed. no, no, it's, it should, yeah, you should keep it for 30 seconds. No, you you keep should it take pressed. that off. Yeah, that's right. 30 seconds. And it's again, like I said, it's beneficial in uh, pain associated with the elbow joints. And it's uh, quite common in fibromyalgia cases, like I said. And should I type the name? Sorry, which joint is going to help? This elbow one. Which area, okay. which area of the body is going to give the benefit by doing this? The yeah, elbow. like I said, the, the elbow joint, any pain associated with the elbow joint. Like if you uh, have fibromyalgia so uh, in the elbow joint, so we're doing it uh, part by part, you know, right? So if you have a condition like a tennis elbow or pain in the elbow joint, any, any sort of that condition, you know. Thank you. So, yeah, so uh, it's uh, like I said, four fingers here and your thumb down, uh, thumb here. So you hold it 30 seconds. Above the elbow? No, no, like right the same level as the elbow joints. Okay.
All right, so do that for 30 seconds every day at once. And moving on to the next one is Diani uh, Marma. Uh, so th this is one it, is. Uh, do we have to do it in both hands? Both elbows? Yes. Yeah, both elbows, yes, of course. Oh. Pain in the both hands. So the both hands. Yeah, if you if you have if you experience pain in both elbows, or if you have a condition like tennis elbow in one hand, so you can just do it in one hand. If you experience it in both hands, you can do it in both elbows. Okay, so you can do exactly you can do a combination of all of these. If you have a painful hand, like if you if you have like an excruciating pain all over the hand, so you can do all of these. You can do a combination. of all of these the or if you have a wrist. sorry the wrist. sorry the the wrist. yeah yeah of course yeah any any sort of pain any excruciated pain or if you by most of the people experience carpal tunnel syndrome which is which is like a uh, neurology condition you can do for that as well Yeah, so. Uh, Sorry, so which one is for carpal tunnel syndrome? This yeah, is the, covering your tennis elbow. Oh, oh, yeah, all the ones I explained on the uh, on the hands. Okay. Okay, the first three ones. And then this one is for your elbow. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's really difficult to show it, you know, on, on, on a Zoom call, you know, to explain it on a Zoom call. Okay, so. Uh, what we do is we uh, we show it to patients, like we do it on patients and then they experience that, then they, they go back home and do it on their own. So uh, the next one is Ani, Ani Marma, which is almost the same as the, uh, uh, the one I explained, the Purpura one, Purpura Marma, the elbow joint one. So, uh, yeah. So this uh, Ani Marma is four angulars above the which four angulars means four fingers. So you put a finger on your elbow joint. So this is your animarma. And you can do the this exact same thing you like you did with Kurpura Marma. Apply pressure. 30 seconds on both hands. Yeah, so you do this for 30 seconds. Again, the benefit is any any sort of pain in your hands, in your muscles, associated with fibromyalgia, or it could be anything, you know, it could be arthritis, it could be a frozen shoulder. So any sort of ex excruciating pain to this part, you can do this. And what's the question? So there are lots of questions, maybe I'll uh, answer it at the end, okay? And the next one is, uh, uh, the Kukuntara Marma. So it's difficult to show on camera. So it's it's giving pressure to your hips. It targets the sacroiliac joint. So if this is your hip, you your grip should be like this on the back. The back. So you, you did exactly, you, you apply pressure on both sides, your thumb, thumb in the front on both sides and the rest of your fingers on the back. Yeah, it's like you're uh, holding both your hips, you know, like when you're tired from work, you hold both your hips, like some, something similar. But so you... That so, yeah. hurts so, the wrist. It hurts the sorry? wrist. It hurts the wrist, the twisting. The pain, sorry, you, I, get I pain you get pain in the wrist for doing that. You can't twist, <laughs> twist it. Ah, uh, yeah, you should, you should, you should be ca like careful while doing that. You know, it's just uh, you apply, uh, uh, you just uh, put your hands on both your hips, apply pressure with from both sides. It's, it's that simple. So but don't press it hard. Yeah, like don't hurt your wrists. <laughs> yeah, but pain in the wrist, so you get, you can't twist it hard. Oh, if if that's uh, that's the case, you can ask someone to do that. Like, so I recommend you do it. So. If there's a condition that you are unable to do that, you can ask some your partner to do that. So it's, it's totally all right. Yes, and yes, you can ask questions at the end. If you live on your own, then it's difficult, no? 
sorry i have trouble hearing you i don't, I don't know why i said uh, if you live on your own then you have then it's difficult um, you can ask somebody to do it yes yes yeah if you have a condition yeah. like if you have painful risk you can ask someone to do that of course no but if there is no if i live alone like i live alone so it's difficult not to ask somebody else to do it Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, you can. You can avoid, avoid this. Uh, if it's if you find it difficult, you can avoid doing that. So you can just so use it with your hands. With the virus, and, uh, nobody just wants. Just apply to pressure on that. So you you carry on with it. your points, please. Carry on. Yeah. Okay. So what, what I'm saying is, if you have difficulties, possible so you... to show the face, Marma, because that would be easily visible and everybody can practice. It yeah. So, yeah. On the camera. So. Uh, the first first one is the remove the marma. So so I'm talking about um, the marmas on the face or the head. So if you uh, if I will explain a very few of them. So if you do this, so this could really help in uh, improving your mental health. So if you have really bad stress or like pressure from work, so this could really help. So I recommend doing this with uh, a little bit of oil, maybe either coconut oil or gingerly oil, it's up to you. So the one is the, the first one is the Murdini Marma. So the Murdini Marma is exactly your, exactly here. Yeah, so it's exactly here. So what you can do is you can use some warm oil. Uh, you can apply it on your Murdini Marma. You can use one finger, a, any of your fingers, or you can use your thumb. Um, just apply, uh, do a circular motion there. With very, uh, not, make sure you don't give, uh, like, like you, press, you don't press really hard. Just uh, some medium pressure. So yeah, so do a circular motion here. Yeah, you can do it for 20, 30 seconds. Then make sure you do it with, an, uh, with either coconut oil or you can do gingerly oil. Okay, and uh, and you can leave the oil there for 10, 15 minutes. So, so it's so it's winter. So I, I recommend you don't keep the oil for long. So you, it's better you wash that oil off. And the next one is the uh, fana marma. So it's it's basically your nose. So you apply pressure on both sides with both your fingers. So if you have any conditions like if you're if you have an allergic condition like rhinitis, so I recommend not doing that. So, so both sides, apply pressure, 30 seconds again. Yeah, so this is again, again uh, to improve your circulation all of your face, then you can do this. So this is to improve your circulation all over the face. And and also it's, it helps you in uh, improving your mental health. Like it could be anything like stress or strain or anything. And the next one is uh, the Stabni Marma. So this is where you put your Sintu. So this is exactly here. So you can apply slight pressure with your finger. Again, 20 to 30 seconds. You can do it on a regular basis, like once every day. Is it on the forehead? Yeah. Okay. So right where you put your synthos, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. The third eye. Yeah, that's the one. Third. Yeah. OK. So then we have the Amsha Falaka Marma, so which is right behind your shoulder. So if you can, so I, I'm, I'm sure like, I don't know if everyone will be able to do that. If you have a condition of frozen shoulder, it will be difficult. So to find this Marma, so you put your hand back, reach for the, this part. So when the part you touch with your hand is the uh, Amsha Falaka Marma. The same hand. And again, what you can do is you can do this position and you can apply pressure with four, your four fingers on this point. And if you have trouble raising your hands, you can ask for someone's help. Yeah. 
right here. Can you not do it with the other hand? Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Then, then you don't have to ask anybody. Yeah, with both hands. Like it depends on your condition. If you have pain on one side, you can. Thank you. If you have pain on the right hand side, you can do it. On the right hand side, you can do both. It's totally up to you. And again, so uh, so there are lots of questions. Yeah, can people ask questions at the Is end? Is that under that bone on the back on the shoulder? Is it the, you know, the bone on the back on the shoulder? Is it there? Yeah, you mean the, the clavicle, yeah? Yeah, is it yeah, right next above to the, the clavicle? Bone? It is just above the bone or down the bone? You yeah, know, like on, on uh, if this is the bone, right, right next to the bone. Yeah, nice, okay. You get where, it? Your, yeah. where your hand reaches, it's there. Yeah, that's the point. So you keep okay. your hand here yeah. and reach for it. Yeah, and you touch it's next, that next to the next to that bone on the under the yeah, shoulder. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and then we've got the money bandha, uh, which is your radius now. Now this joint, the wrist joint. I have that. That's my wrist one. Yeah. So you, like you did with the other parts, just cover it with your hand. Apply pressure. 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So you can do all of this. Uh, I'm not saying you should do all the all of this in one stretch. So you can do you can choose the marma according to your condition. So if you have a condition on the shoulder, you can do the uh, the marma I told you. Yam Safalaga Marma or Yeah. So anyway, the session is recorded. You can watch the session later and choose the marmas that uh, that suits you, like suits your condition. So I, I recommend all the face marmas you can do do it every day. Even if you don't have a condition or if you don't have fibromyalgia or any stress, you can still do it. Uh, you can do the more than every day. So, this, so just make sure you uh, wash the oil away in five, 10 minutes. So in this, because in this weather, it can be really bad. It could give you a cold and you, and, and you, you don't. Want that. So five to 10 minutes, you can keep the oil and wash that away. So this is a long question. Yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I can uh, give it to Doctor Neha. Yeah, for headaches, uh, I'm not sure if we are covering headache today, so maybe we can do it in a different session. Future sessions, yes. Yeah. So, Excuse me. Uh, can you tell me which one is for the low backache? Low backache. Yeah. So, like I told you, the um, like I told you, the hip. Uh, the hip I think, hip remember that. <laughs> this one if you can stand up, please, and you can demonstrate where your hands are. We can yeah, stand. So that's that's the difficult yes, part. You can about stand this. up <laughs> and back towards us. Yeah. So so what I told you was you can use both your hands. So this is your hip. Turn around, please. We can want to see your back, where the hands yeah. are exactly. <laughs> All right. So that's the best I can do, you know. So. Okay, fine. Yeah. Can okay. I stand and show you then? You want yeah, to... yes, of course, of course. You're saying like this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's perfect. So four fingers at the back and the thumb yeah, comes four towards fingers the, at the back. Yeah. You can see four fingers yes. at the back. Very good, yes, very good. Right. And the thumb comes thumb up towards the, comes yeah. towards the side. Comes towards the side. Crest, just at the iliac crest. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Just at the iliac crest. Yeah. We are pressing the thumb as well and the four fingers. Of course, of course we are pressing, squeezing, squeezing. Yeah. So from both sides. Especially yeah. if you're slightly overweight, you have to just, take it in. Yeah. <laughs> very good, yeah, very good, thank you. you. Yeah, so that, that uh, 
that especially covers the sacroiliac joint, you know, that part. Yeah. yeah. So any questions? I think we've So basically this murma is about... Arthritis. Arthritis. <laughs> Hmm? Which pressure for the arthritis? Eyesight. Arthritis. arthritis. He's talking about arthritis. arthritis. Yes, like all, all of this, all of this are for arthritis. So, uh, the, I, to explain to you the Janu Marma. So that is your. This is your knee knee joint. So you can apply. You can give a grip. See, yeah. From both sides. So if you have osteoarthritis, you can do that. So underneath the knee joint, you can apply pressure from both sides. It's like you did on your hips. Hello. Now move on pressure point now to some even car even car you bad lag. No, I, I couldn't I couldn't hear you there. Can you can you type the question? That that would be easier. Any any point in a shoulder, rheumatologic shoulder pain? Sorry. Rheumatologic shoulder pain. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, the uh, mama I told you, you can do that. This mama, remember? So basically, all your marma is holding and pressing yeah, the so point. I, what I'm doing is, steadily, so what steadily, I'm giving without... you is uh, <coughs> self-management, you know, what you can do safely in your home. All the other marmas are complicated and need uh, personal care, you know, ex personal expertise. So you need an expert to do that. So what I'm giving you is simple marma techniques That's that pressure you can practice point. in your home. Like a pressure, is a pressure point. Yeah, so it's all about the pressure points, you know, like you apply pressure, you can impact on that entire area. I've, I've been doing some of them. So it's roughly apply pressure for 20 to 30 seconds. Yes, yes. And then repeat it? Yeah, you can repeat it the next day. Okay, very good. Nice Thank simple you. techniques. Thank you. Yeah, it's, yeah. so I, I, I had to find these simple techniques for you, you know, like to demonstrate. Yeah. Um, can, it's, can it's I just... for your patients with pain, it's, it's yeah. very good, especially fibromyalgia. Yes. Can, can I just ask, this is nothing to do with pain. Is there one yeah. for sleep, getting good sleep? Yeah, so for good sleep, you can do the Moodni Marma I told you. Moodni, okay. Yeah, for, so you apply oil, you give okay. it a good massage, like a circular massage, leave it for five, 10 minutes. Yeah. And take a shower that or you can just rub it off thank you thank you excuse me can you tell us with background of this marmas i have heard for the first time how it started yeah, so, uh, Is the marmas, training it's, for it's, this uh, are you attuned by your guru to do this yeah so the the origin of Marma is uh, in South Southern India, in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. So we uh, had this group of martial art experts. So we have this thing called Kalaripait. So that's how this thing emerged. So they practiced martial arts. So when they got injured, so this is how they fixed all the injuries through Marmas. Uh, can you so this is quite famous in, uh, in the Southern part of uh, India. In Kerala, we call it Marma. In Tamil Nadu, it's Varma. In Siddha medicine, it's Varma. Yeah. So that's how it's originated. Then it uh, uh, it has its, uh, I think, Marma, the, the Chinese therapy, the acupuncture, and the martial arts. I think it got influenced by Marma. So that's, that's a story I'm not quite sure of. So uh, that's, some books say they got inspired by the marma therapy. Yeah, so that's the origin of marma. So it's based, it's a South Indian thing. It hasn't been uh, made popular by the people who practice that. So they don't teach it to many people. Is it 
<laughs> are you tuned I, into it by your mentor or guru like reiki you know reiki is yes, tuned yes, by yes, your guru yes. is it like yes. that yes yes anybody can't do it you have to be tuned yes. first yes that's right thank you so what you can do is i showed you this simple techniques you can do it at home it's safe no problems at all these are simple techniques you can do thank you very much thank you that's lovely thank you is there any in uk any other questions doing marma therapy marma therapy in uk that's a good question so i uh, and i don't uh, what you can do is uh, uh, if they have a panchakarma therapy hospital so all those hospitals have my my experts other than that i don't know about uk in panchakarma there is yeah, no so if you have pan- yeah so only acupressure panch- is there only acupressure simple straight forward then oh, okay. points have been touched you know but not yeah. as a name of marmara no yes yeah it's it's a book shot and tell you also it's quite similar to the acupuncture yeah. it's quite similar to acupuncture but the yeah, names are different some points are different yeah acupressure acupuncture they are talking yeah. now so they they use different names for that some of them they got inspired from amma i'm sure you have to have a needle for the acupuncture there is only one in the uk uh, he's uh, paul mr paul he runs a calorie part um studio and the school in in the uk he's the only one who is running this and he's very much trained in marma calorie uh, and related herbs as well during the fight which uh, is commonly used and he makes his own pain mixtures uh, for the fighters especially but of course it can be used by anybody it's called agastya tekam kalari sangam it's in the it's in the london yeah so mostly the kalari experts do that kalari kalari pai to experts Doctor, they are associated with part of kalari or is it part of ayurveda treatment process it is a part of both like susurda explains 107 marmas plus plus the mind so 108 marmas all the other jayas explain mainly trees like your head heart and the navel region so uh, it, it is part of ayurveda but what you can say is like they knew the theory people so they de- developed into uh, a practice what you can say what did what do they do for the kidneys kidneys yes any like like depends on the condition of your kidney like right? what's wrong with the kidney then if it's not fully functioning okay that so that that takes a lot of expertise so that takes a lot that takes more than marm mas you know you might need internal medications and other treatments so, so just not like always all about mamas so we we have other we, we need other therapies as well <laughs> 